Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your of the last location by about 100 miles up in the Sierras more. Uh, this area actually had some BFRO and non-BFRO sightings that were probably further back under this range we're looking at here. Um, fairly recently, within the last five, five years, Fairly recently from what we've, what else has been found in the area. Um, as you can see, it's had some uh, fires probably go through here at one point. Uh, really hope this is coming out with all the wind. Um, one of the encounters was uh, squash actually got between two out here are actually hunting for deer. Um, the story goes, if I remember right, they actually took a shot at it. Uh, not sure if they hit it and exited the area. And it was uh, pretty rugged terrain, probably like what we're seeing back up there. Um, now this is kind of not necessarily the southern tip of the Sierras, but it's good ways out here um, it's again about a hundred miles from the southern tip so it's getting up you know, probably another a uh, couple hundred miles north of here is the Yosemite area so it's a little different terrain what we've seen in some of the other uh, investigations we've been on some of the other areas uh, yeah, as you can see, it probably gets in those higher elevations. It's definitely um, more tree line, more things of that nature. Um, pretty rugged back in there. Uh, the other sighting, I believe, in this area was further south. And I, memory doesn't serve. Again, I'll put the links for that one. Um, not a ton of them, but the ones that uh, there are they're they're fairly credible uh, Brent I think one was from the Brent saw one site and I never the, interview. the individual was prior military and he seemed pretty credible uh, 
which, you know, always helps, always helps. Um, but again, there's a, a river nearby here. It's uh, probably about oh, 100 yards um, east of this location. Uh, just a little bit difficult to get to from here, so I don't think I'm going to attempt that one. Um, but yeah, again, uh, out here near a known sighting location. Um, we're out here in the summer, and I believe this sighting was actually in the fall, if not October. So we might need to make another trip up here if it's possible to, uh, you know, get up in some of these higher elevations um, or even further up into this canyon would be great. Uh, possibly do some camping, but yeah, again, um, this area is uh, pretty interesting. It's not your, kind of your typical national forest. It's almost deserty. It doesn't get so dry and hot. It's about, I think, about 92 degrees out here. So uh, not not blazing hot, but it's enough where that kind of uh, the vegetation and whatnot gets pretty uh, dry, and susceptible to you know you can see the burned out trees up there on the hill. Sadly. A natural course of event as well it does happen um, these trees down here are kind of interesting I'm assuming maybe that was uh, from uh, wind or something not really seeing any signs of anything else per se but again um, five-year-old sightings uh, National Forest area, 100 miles from the southern tip of the Sierras. Uh, these range probably, I think we're roughly at about 1,200 elevation right here at the trailhead. Uh, and these these peaks, you know, they go up there pretty good. It's uh, easily, you know, probably 3,000. Uh, then those, the ones, that, they just get bigger and bigger as they go up. Uh, you know, again, they probably get up five, six thousand easily. So again, back out here uh, near the site, known sighting locations, like we always do, try and at least do a follow up, try and at least get to the area and see what it's all about. All right, guys, uh, everybody have a good one, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.